Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. As always, I am your host, Nekodema Sterling, also known as Dr. Feel, here with another special episode of Tales of Romantic Woe, I Turned Down My Boyfriend's Proposal. Here with us today, we have this lovely individual who has lived the subject of today's episode. Please, introduce yourself to the audience, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, come on, sweetheart, don't be shy. Come on, the whole audience is here cheering you on. <laughs> you see... You are in good company here with us. So, tell me, sweetheart, are you comfortable? All settled in on our little therapy couch? Please note, Dr. Field is not actually a doctor. The advice given here is purely speculative and not medical in nature. The fucking lawyers won't stop harassing me over that. <clears throat> anyway, do you feel a little bit safer now? Fantastic. Now... Lay it on us, sweetheart. Your dedicated, loving, sweet boyfriend proposed to you and you turned him down in public. The footage has gone viral and we just had to get your side of the story. So, spill the tea, sis. What happened? Hmm. Yeah, I see, I see. He was the controlling type. Very possessive, very dominant. I understand. It sounds like he had quite the temper too. Now, we have reviewed the footage, and if you will watch on screen here with us now, we will slow it down. Right this second, wide this frame, you can see his heart shattering in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, dear audience, calm down. We are not done getting her side of the story. So, tell us, sweetheart, what were things like with him before this little wrinkle in your relationship? Oh, I see. He got angry. Easily. And you're sure that was not just him being passionate? Almost violent, you say. Heavens. You are spinning quite the yarn here, my friend. <laughs> How harrowing. You must feel so fortunate that he proposed to you in public. Without other people around, who knows what a man like this might have done to a sweet, sweet little jelly bean like yourself. But, like I always say, there are two sides to every story. So, dear audience, get ready. <gasps> That's right, folks. I want the audience to throw everything they have into this next round of applause as we introduce, you guessed it, the ex-boyfriend. Well, I can't say I've ever method acted as one of my show's attendees, but let me give it my best. Let's see. I am a devoted, loving, adoring boyfriend, and I got humiliated in front of the entire world by my sweet, sweet little jelly bean. How would I feel? You! Don't you dare sit there and pretend as though you're blameless and innocent in all of this. You broke my fucking heart! <clears throat> no, no, no. Cleansing breath. In and out. There we go. It's okay. It's okay, baby. You see, I brought you here so that I could work my magic and we could get all of these bad feelings that you have for me fixed. After all, communication is 
everything in a relationship. You know that, right? Ooh! You see? You see? Even the audience is on my side. Tens of millions of people out there who know who you are and what you did. And I bet that you're really regretting telling me no now, aren't you, Jellybean? Oh no, why, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Are the spotlights in your eyes, is that it? Your pretty, pretty eyes. <laughs> there, you see, all of your acting up has got the audience laughing at you. Because you are acting like a clown, Jellybean. But that's okay, because we're all clowns here in Tinseltown, aren't we? Ah, uh, now you're screaming for help. Listen, sweetheart, look at the audience for me. Really look at them. Hmm? <laughs> okay, okay, so I might have lied to you a little. The audience might be a tiny bit... dead. In the literal sense. It's kind of weird how easy it was to kill them all, honestly. I mean, I guess you really can get away with anything when you're famous. I'd like to think that they'd have been rooting for you, though, sweetheart. You did tell such a heart-wrenching story about me. Oh, how sweet. Please don't hurt me, Nick. I'd never cheat on you, Nick. I love you, Nick. How am I meant to ever believe you when you lie to me continuously? Would you stop your screaming? Or will I have to take my tie off and jam it down that pretty little throat of yours to keep you quiet? I mean, let's be honest, we both know how weak your gag reflex is. <laughs> no, 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 we're, we're done with that, we're done with that, cut that out! <sighs> Sorry. What I mean by that is, you drown in your own vomit, sweetheart. And I can't have that happen. To my sweet, sweet little jelly bean, now can I? No, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. You see, it's, it's my fault, I'm to blame. Because I didn't love you hard enough, did I? I didn't give you enough attention, right? It's because of the job, sweetheart. It's because of the job, it took too much of my time, but it's okay, because I'll quit it right now, right fucking now, if you just take me back. Please, I, I love you so much, Jellybean. I love you so much. No, no, you see, I'm... I'm Dr. Feel. I fix feelings. I have helped millions of people out there, and I could have anyone I wanted. Anyone. But I only want you, Jellybean. And I know how to fucking fix this. I know. I figured it out while I was rolling around the floor of my fucking mansion, sobbing and begging my fucking butler to shoot me. You remember Scooter? Yes, Scooter, my private jet. Well, it's waiting right outside the studio ready to take us to a private island where you can live in comfort and luxury 
for the rest of your days. Won't that be nice, sweetheart? No more cameras, no more paparazzi, no more people to pressure you or sway your decisions away from me. Just you and me and all the time we could want to reconnect and heal. Carrying you like this, princess style, just how I will on our wedding night, Jellybean. Now, say goodbye to the audience, sweetheart. The show's over. I had entirely too much fun recording this script. But I sometimes worry about what my neighbors might be thinking about me.